trouble. Started out smiling, they paying me double. Yeah, you can drip chip, baby, like must. Yeah. Okay, the first thing I did when I woke up was my hair. I already got it straightened and I decided to add some clip-in extensions. So thank you so much to Irresistible Me for sending these to me and sponsoring this video. I'm super excited. I love Irresistible Me. Like, I've actually purchased them before. I'll have all the details below, but I basically got their 20-inch extra volume in jet black. And look at the match. Like, it... Come on. Whose hair? This is, this is my hair, period. Yes. So yeah, I'm just about to install these ones clip-ins because it was just a quicker option than a weave and I can reuse these over and over. So it was definitely a quality investment to me. My hair was super silky, so I did have to tease it a bit because I wanted something for the clips to grip onto. But y'all, I'm not like the best hair person and this was so easy. Like you really just tease it, clip it in. You don't even really need a method. Like once I get to the top, I kind of just put them wherever. Um, I will say that I ran out. So um, good thing I already like had Ears of Swimming clip-ins. Um, they weren't the jet black color though. So you'll see later that it's kind of like the natural brown mixed in with the black towards the end because I just ran out of hair. Like I think you kind of need for the thicker look that I was going for, I needed more than one pack of them or I should have got something with more pieces. So first thing I did was install the clip-ins. And then the next thing I did was curl my hair. And yeah, everything turned out amazing. So I'll just let you all enjoy the montage for now. Thanks again to Irresistible Me for sponsoring this video. And if you all have any questions about the clip-ins, let me know down below. Let me know how you like them. But you can't tell me this is not my real hair. Like the blend is really perfect and it was so easy. Like I'm gonna pop these in all the time now. Like it's literally amazing. Like, okay, this is the final. Like, look at this. Cute, cute, 20 inches of hair, period. And yes, I do see the color difference, but once I curl it, you really can't tell y'all. So yeah. to do my hair at I set an alarm at 3 40 I didn't actually get out of bed until like 3 50 and then by the time I did my like my skincare routine and brush my teeth and stuff it was like 403 set up and filmed and did my hair which I just saw it's 5 50 right now because I finished around honestly 5 15 but I was just scrolling on TikTok and you know looking at the Grammy highlights or whatever I'm letting my car warm up it's 5.50. My plan was to leave by 6, so I'm running early, but I'm going to stop and get Maya and I some Starbucks. Um, and I was like, dang, do I want to stop at the one in D.C. or like Starbucks in Virginia? I'm just going to stop at one in Virginia because I don't want her to get a drink that's not hot. Like, So I'm going to just stop closer to where she lives. I'm so anxious for today, though. I'm taking my mural photos for law school. Mural photos are like, if you've ever seen my vlogs, those are the photos, like the class portraits that you'll see like on the hallways of the school. And like, you know, it's basically, it's like the photo that you're gonna be remembered by, I feel like. I'm kind of dramatic though, but yeah. So I already took like graduation photos, like my personal photo shoot, but these are like the school portraits. We had to wear one, we have to dress business professional. I'm literally wearing Uggs and like regular pants, but I do have a blazer. 
and a button-up shirt in the back seat and that's what I'll wear I'm pretty sure it's from the neck up and if it ain't whatever and then we'll take another photo with our regalia on regalia I don't know how to pronounce it the other day I had a nightmare that I mixed up the days for my photos and y'all already know I mixed up the days for a final exam so like that's not too far off and I was just like panicking like oh my god like I gotta get ready for these photos gotta get my makeup done gotta get do my hair and yeah i think like the fact that i have to do my own hair kind of just adds stress because usually i'll just go to a hair appointment and leave there but it wasn't it really wasn't that bad i will say um that thank goodness like i'm actually like a loyal customer to irresistible me like i've actually bought some of their clip-ins before and i had some on hand that i used for my college graduation because i ran out like that one pack of clip-ins was just not enough for my hair i had to use like two or three pieces from the other ones that I already owned and um, those ones that I already owned they're like um, the natural brown but the ones that I got most recently sent to me by them they're jet black because I dyed my hair jet black because I just think that looks like better so some of the colors might be a little off y'all probably could tell a little bit on camera but I feel like it's not going to show that much in photos and the reason why I wanted to do clip-ins was because like I was that weave it was just too much for me like i don't like to sleep in things with my hair clearly i couldn't even sleep in the clip-ins that's why i woke up to do it because i'm like i'm not gonna get any sleep if i slept in this no so i just woke up in the morning to do it and then um it's just quick and easy like literally quick and easy so yeah but i'm glad everything worked out i'm glad i had those clip-ins on hand something told me i would need more <laughs> so it just literally it worked out but um yeah i'm about to go drive to my i hope i don't get i don't think traffic will be too bad because i'm leaving the city like usually it's the commuter traffic people coming from like the suburbs into dc but i am leaving dc so hopefully traffic isn't too too bad and it's like six o'clock in the morning so yeah but you know eyebrows then i know another thing my nails are not freshly done my nail appointment is actually tomorrow but um this photo shoot or whatever was supposed to be like weeks ago if you already know but the photographer got COVID so they had to push it back and like my nail tech be booked so this I feel like I can get away with this hopefully it's not too much on the nail I think I'm just going to be holding like a diploma or something in the photo I don't really know but um yeah that's my morning so far <laughs> so um yeah I'm just letting the car warm up y'all because when I have car trouble if my mom is right like it's because i literally start the car and pull off and like you know you're supposed to let it warm up oh my god another thing i need to get an oil change but I'm, that's probably gonna have to wait until tomorrow because beyonce tickets came out so i didn't get the code i'm on the wait list but i have faith that i'm gonna get a code eventually because i just i just have faith in the world like i've been going to see beyonce for like a lot of years and i just feel like i'm, I'm destined to go like it's gonna happen and yeah so it's another thing stressing me out today <laughs> is that them tickets go live at 2 p.m but i think i'll be fine my photos are at 10 50. hopefully howard isn't running too behind because i'm just already like i just feel like they're gonna be running a little bit behind but hopefully it's not too bad and i'll be home in time for like the tickets to go live even though i can't really do anything at 2 p.m because i don't have a code but i'm just gonna be waiting for them to email me a code Hopefully, because I'm on the wait list. And if not, I'm in, like, two other lotteries. But for real, I'm trying to get these tickets over with. Anywho, let's go drive to my apartment to get my makeup done at 5.55 a.m. Okay, I just got to Maya's apartment. Hi. So we're gonna start the makeup montage. Oh, let's say hi to Nico. Nico. <laughs> so the plan is to do a TikTok with the "It's a Rap" sound, but I don't know the lyrics. And it's also such a long time before it gets to that part. Like, mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. Are we doing the same thing as last time? Oh, this is the same song. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, I'm 
I'm not even gonna try to like mouth it. I'm just gonna do. Like, how do people do the transitions when they like move their head? <laughs> It'll be like, and they start and they end it. I don't fucking know. I'm not. Girl. Well, we're just gonna do a video. It's pinned. I look like Cindy Lou. <laughs> Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou. <laughs> Do you want them like facing yeah. or do you want me to face this way? No, I'm gonna just move it because it needs to be back face. Alright. Ow. Okay, well, there we go. This lighting is everything. <laughs> Look, y'all, I burned my hand when I was doing my hair, so I've been icing it. <laughs> I'm injured. To go full hateful with the caption to accompany this. Like, it was already a stupid, right. ridiculous decision to do that with your hair. Like, you're not, nobody's physically stopping you from doing that. You're not at risk for persecution for that. Nobody's going to arrest you. He called it like an open and shut case, like, oh, these officers are clearly in the wrong. And then in the same fucking breath was like, I don't get why people are protesting when the officers and the victims are all black. And it's like, I like the blush too. You called it an open and shut case. And I don't know why y'all are protesting. That lets me know that you've never understood why people were protesting. But the issue has never been the race of the cop. Not really. The issue has always been cops. The issue is policing. And any and, 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 and police uphold done. the standard of policing regardless we are of done. I see the look on the light. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. She does it every time, y'all. Makeup by Maya. <laughs> Makeup by Maya Brown. <laughs> oh. My government. <laughs> okay, 
day. I'm about to take my hair out. I'm super nervous because I did this myself. So I'm gonna spray some extra hairspray to be good. I'm also sending a TikTok. Let me film that clip real quick. But we have the hairspray, so hopefully this saves everything. My picture time is 10.40, but I'm probably gonna get there a little early because I'm not dressed. Um, I just have my button up and blazer in the car. We're supposed to look professional for these. And it's only from like the waist up, but yeah. Oh my gosh. I guess I'll start kicking these clips out. And I really didn't use care with doing this. Like I just kind of clipped any which way out. This one is definitely tangled. Girls are really full. Everything is going as planned. Um, I'm probably gonna brush them down closer to the time. I still have like about an hour before, but I have to like you know get to the school and I want to get there a little early and put on my top and blazer. And I'm in Virginia right now, so it's probably gonna take me like at least 30 minutes to get to Howard. But it looks so good. Like it looks so good. Um, you can kind of see the different colors. I don't know if it's going to show that much on camera, but um, I think it's fine. I think I'm glad I still did the two packs. Right now I'm just trying to make sure no clips are showing, which it's looking like I'm good. I'll do like, I don't know, comment below if you see a clip in. Even though it'll be too late, I'm about to have my look, but... It's giving law school graduate. Is it giving lawyer? Okay, you know. <laughs> okay, you know, I say my stuff about Virginia, but one thing I will give them is they have cheap gas. I just filled up my car for under $40. And that is a blessing. So. Yeah, I just put on a hand sanitizer. I literally hate the gas stations. Times like this, maybe New Jersey ain't so bad because at least you don't have to pump your own gas. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go to Howard University School of Law, so I'm mapping that now. Let's see how long it's gonna take me. To 
to go 4.6 miles it takes okay 7.5 miles it takes 20 minutes so let's go Okay, so it's 10.07. I just got to school. Nothing much to show. Um, Like I said, my slot is for 10.40. So I'm going to just wait in here for like 50 minutes and then I'll walk inside. I don't think I need to get there like 30 minutes early, but I definitely want to be early. Um, And this is great for my anxiety. Like I love getting places early. Uh, maybe I'll take some selfies for Instagram. Oh, no, I was also just going to... I was just reflecting, y'all. Like, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm really a 3 i I'm really going to be graduating this year, this May. Like, about to take the damn bar. I don't know. It's just... It's hitting me. I try not to think about it too hard because I probably would get emotional because this was a whole, like... It was just a lot... I mean, honestly, I can't even say it was, like, I did it, you know, I did the damn thing, but, like, ooh, law school is not easy, like, law school is not easy, but definitely, you know, chase your dreams, like, let me turn the car off, chase your dreams, because I'm, like, you know, I just be thinking, like, wow, like, this was, like, one of my big goals, and, like, doing it, so, like, I need to start dreaming bigger now, um, period, so, um, we do have to wear masks in here, but I'm not putting a mask on, because... Do you see this face? This is a million dollar face right here. So I'm gonna just go right to the chapel. Hopefully, I don't think anyone will stop me. And I'll just hold it up. I'm sorry, like, I'm sorry. I, I just will risk that right now. Um, And I'm not dressed. So basically my plan is like, I'll walk in there and put on my button up, which is back there. I didn't put on a hanger or anything. Cause it's like from the neck up. So that's the plan. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I do wish like my mom or something was here for like moral support, like even like Lexi or something, just because like, I don't know, I'm even like to get directed when I take pictures. But um the hair looks literally amazing. Like this is exactly what I had pictured in my head. And I did it myself. Okay. Shout out to Irresistible Me again for the clippings. But um yeah, I wonder who else is taking their photos today. I know a lot of people said they were doing Wednesday. Which is kind of smart on them because I'm literally the first day doing this. So, like, at least if you're taking them on Wednesday, you can hear from people like me, like, oh, what to and not to do. But I was ready to get these over with. Like, y'all, this has been rescheduled, like, three times. And I just, I'm the type, I like to get shit over with. I really do. Um, so, yeah. I need to figure out what I'm going to do later. Because no way I'm just going to go home and sit in the house with this beat face in his hair so i definitely did call my boyfriend i'm like okay what are we doing where are we going what are we doing because i'm trying to be outside so we'll see if that ends up to be anything but if i will go to drinks with whoever okay we are we're going out um maybe i should take a photo i don't know if i have a cute outfit but yeah 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 what are the updates it's tax season um i didn't do too bad that's all I'm saying on it. Let me not put my entire list out there. But, you know, don't forget to follow your taxes, y'all. And I heard the sooner the better. I might honestly blow up this person real quick just to be like, hey, hey, where's my, where's my form? But, yeah. I don't see any 3Ls right now. But I don't have classes on Mondays. Okay, I see someone else in a suit. Yeah, so he's probably about to take pictures, too. It's so easy for guys. Like, I'm, like, a little jealous. Like, really, all I need is a haircut and a suit. I gotta get my hair done. It needs to be fresh and I have to have a beat face and a cute outfit. But I'm not, I don't think this outfit is really that cute. It's literally just a suit. If it was really up to me, I would have on like a dress with my shoulders out. But my mom was like, do not have your shoulders out. And she just said, go with a suit, like a timeless look. But y'all know in the, like, I think it's so cool how, like, you can see literally the eras of Howard, like, from the earlier classes, like, in like the 50s and 60s when there's literally one woman in the class and then in like the 70s where there's more women and everyone got an afro i'm like dang so this is going to be the era right now silk press buzz down middle part i told her natural with the lashes this is actually the exact same makeup look that she did for my personal grad photos i don't know what blog is going up first okay see she got jeans on the bottom I see someone else with like a suit on the top jeans on the bottom. Yeah, I'm wearing Uggs too, girl. Cause yeah. Um, but yeah. 
I still have no code from Ticketmaster, which I'm not expecting the code until after 2 p.m. because I just feel like that's when tickets go live. So if I'm on the wait list, it would have to be after the people with the code purchase them at 2 p.m. But I'm just going to be on standby. Depending on when I get out of here, I'll get an oil change though. I think if I leave here before 12 p.m., I'll drop my car off to get an oil change and then I'll just walk home. Um, yeah, because I need to walk. I haven't done orange. I haven't. I haven't been to Orange Theory since when was that? Friday. It's Monday, but I just got my hair done. That's the struggle. That's the black girl struggle. Like, I have. I be having to choose between my hair and Orange Theory. <laughs> So I think I'm going to take this week off because I just literally have a fresh silk press. So no, I'm not ruining that. And then I'll start working out again the next week. But I am going to walk home from the world change. So that counts as something. What else can I talk to you about to help me kill time? Ask me questions in the comments. What else? Follow me on TikTok. I I've been I have like two TikToks that I need to edit. Actually, Loki three, but one of them like I'm currently filming because I'm like, you know, doing a come with me to get grad photos taken TikTok. But yeah, and I just be thinking like, dang, like it's about to be the end of the law school era. I know some people are like, some people are, oh my god, like that's your brand, and I'm like, honestly, why is my camera about to die? I literally charged it. Oh my god. Okay, my camera's about to die, y'all. So let me go. Yeah. Do y'all want to say hi to the vlog? Good Jordan and Bradford from 1L to 3L. We're really graduating, y'all. Any words? Like, how do you feel in this moment? And I feel a little nervous when my picture's not to come out. And I'm still gonna get a haircut. You look nice. You look nice. We chose the first day. We're ready to get it over with. Yes, we took one. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead of Bradford because he's on a call. I'm just recording for memories. Um, it's supposed to be Bradford now, but I'm gonna go first because he's.
Hey y'all, I just finished. Um, I'm actually kind of nervous because good thing I asked to see them at first because I had to, I looked crazy. Like I changed my hair. I like pulled my hair down a little bit and like changed my pose a little bit. And like the brown clipping was showing, but hopefully like they turn out okay. The photographer was complimenting my makeup. So I feel like that's a good sign. Wind, did y'all just hear that? I'm glad the wind picked up after my fix my pictures so it's actually 11 o'clock like not how we're being on time and ready with everything we love to see it we love to see well actually um bradford was ahead of me but he was on a call for work so i got to go in front of him and he had like the slot right up before mine so they're actually pretty on time um i'm so glad that i asked that photographer if i could see my photos at first because oh my god it was it was giving jump scare like i looked good but like you know how like I could just look better like i'm glad i combed my hair out a little bit more and i just like changed like my face um i hope the other ones look good i, I only asked for the first ones because i could tell like you're not really supposed to do that i don't know but i'm glad i asked he said i'll get them in about two weeks so i think that's pretty on schedule with my posting schedule i don't know but um yeah y'all did that and it's 11 o'clock so i definitely have time to go get an oil change and try to get my Beyonce tickets. Like, yes, this day is going well. So let's go try to get an oil change. This is my first time getting an oil change. Usually my one of my parents does it. But I'm trying to be a big girl. Oh, almost hit the curb. So let me get off the phone while I'm clearly driving and about to hit the curb. But yeah, I hope they don't charge me an arm and leg. You know those things where it's like you going for oil change. I see you're a girl. Not only am I a girl, but I'm like done up today. But I would just tell them, look, I don't have the money, which I do. But like, I'm not trying to spend all that on this car. So hopefully this oil change is not that deep. Okay, I just dropped my car off. I called, I had my boyfriend on the phone. I mean, they seem nice. They said, I didn't know oil changes were so expensive. I thought it was going to be like $20, $30. They said it's going to be at least 80 because they have to do synthetic oil or something. I don't, I do not know. I need to figure out some plans for later. Maybe I'll see if anyone wants to do happy hour. I don't know. Um, but I'm also like, I don't know if I want to keep these in because that brown really threw me off. Like this, here you can see it. <laughs> Annoying, I wish I had them all in jet black. But I, I'll live, I'll live. I'll go out when it's dark outside. I thought I'd tell y'all something else, but I just literally cannot. Oh no, I was about to complain about how I feel like I've been getting spanked today with expenses. like. Makeup done, cha ching. Had to get gas, cha ching. Oil change, cha ching. So, good thing I got some lunch in the fridge. Cause, woo, adulting, adulting is winning today. Okay, y'all, we're at happy hour. Yes. Cause I'm like, I have my makeup done. Let's get the girls together. And of course, we're at El Centro. Typical, typical. Christmas yeah, Christmas What? Cheers. Yeah, I'm crying. Literally. I'm literally Cheers to Mark. <laughs> Y'all, I was in a bad mood because of this Beyonce shit. Finally, some good news. Good news. Great news. Mama, she tattooed that ass. I'm a lover boy. She got a toy. Keep it coming. You a ride up. It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit. It's that stepping out. I feel like I'm that nigga shit. I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit yeah. If I catch you knocking off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be We well, all stun up to I D.I.E. You can do what you wanna Live how you wanna And if in case y'all were wondering, still no code For Miss Beyonce Giselle did he say a man? They brought us some churros. We said we did not order churros. He said the manager said bring it to this table. So I'm assuming they're free. Yeah. Uh oh, the game in trouble. Started out small and they paying me double. Yeah, you can drip check baby like mustard. Yeah.